quilt squares, yay. There's a pattern, you're gonna cut two seven by seven, then you're gonna place them right sides together and pin all the way around these edges. Sorry, it's okay. You're gonna pin nicer than I'm gonna pin right now because I'm gonna do it really fast. So what's really important is that it has to be right sides together. That means whatever the print or whatever the image is on the fabric has to be facing each other. And then you're gonna sew these one quarter inch, okay? So if you wanna get closer to see this, otherwise I'm gonna upload this in a minute, but that's when the edge of the foot and the edge of the fabric line up to each other. So just be sure that as you get to the corners, you're dropping the needle, lifting and pivoting the fabric. We're gonna do that all the way around Again, I'm rushing. You'll probably do a nicer job than me. I have to fix this corner. I have a feeling my pinning was not perfect. So. All right, so once you've sewn all the way around, pretty self-explanatory. Then you're gonna take a pencil or pen and the ruler. So from one corner of your stitching to the other, you're gonna draw a straight line. And from the other corners as well, same idea. Um, I think the rotary cutter is not sharp enough for this, but you're gonna cut them apart And then after this step, you're gonna go to the ironing board and we're gonna iron them all open. And this is probably when you're gonna figure out what your pattern's going to be. So this is pretty typical. That's just a diamond all together. If you rotate them, you can make a pinwheel. Okay, you'll have to use a little bit of more brain power than I'm capable of right now. Yeah, this way. So it's alternating. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ta-da, pinwheel. So now to join these, I have to turn them into rows. So I'm gonna flip these two to be right sides facing. It's better if you iron them first so that they're laying nice and flat. Questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Um, when you're at the ironing board, you're just gonna press this open so that way it will be flat on the right side. But now I'm gonna join these two together. Same idea, quarter inch. Mm -hmm. Please do reverse at the beginning and the end. So there you have one. Oops, this way, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm gonna bring these two together. I guarantee you if you iron them first, it'll look a lot better. We have two rows, and now I'm just gonna bring these together. Oh, I almost fall off the chair. Definitely pin them first. I'm just trying to breeze through this. Once all of these quilt squares are finished, we're gonna join them all together and they'll make one big quilt. So there you have it, pinwheel.